Ladies and gentlemen, look like the jobless claim numbers came out and it is now up to 60 million unemployment claims filed in this country. And this is from March through September. I mean, just to think about that is mind boggling, it is unbelievable. You might hear the rain hitting um, against the air conditioner. Okay, so another 884,000 Americans filed for unemployment aid last week. And usually they come out with these numbers every Wednesday. And many publications will pick it up at least by Thursday. Some will put out something even on Wednesday. The number of Americans applying for state unemployment benefits held steady last week as the nation's labor market continued a tepid recovery from the coronavirus pandemic and subsequent economic shutdown. The latest jobless claim figures from the Labor Department, which covers the week ending September 5th, showed that 884,000 workers sought aid last week, pushing the total number since the shutdown began to more than 60 million. Economists surveyed and they expected 846,000 new claims. Last week total revised was 884,000. The latest jobless claim report is disappointing. Um, once promising declines said Daniel Zhao, a uh, glass senior economist, glass door senior economist, after weeks of steady decline, initial unemployment insurance claims have reversed course for the fourth consecutive week of increases. Well, I'm not surprised. Continuing claims, the number of people receiving benefits after an initial week of aid ticked up slightly by 93,000 to more than 13.3 million. Roughly 1 million unemployed Americans have been seeking aid each week for the past six months. When the COVID-19 crisis triggered an unprecedented shutdown of the nation's economy, pointing to a sluggish turnaround, it's down from the peak of more than 6 million claims in late March but remains well above 200,000 reported in February. Before the pandemic, the record high was 695,000, set in 1982. The Labor Department changed the way it adjusts state job losses. Um, so now they tweak the uh, intended to improve the figure of accuracy so the number for the last two weeks are not directly comparable to previous reports. Several large employers have also recently warned of job cuts. American Airlines will cut 19,000 workers in October. Once federal aid expires, Ford Motor is offering buyout to salaried employees with a goal of cutting 1,400 workers. MGM Resorts is laying off 18,000 workers and Coca-Cola is offering buyouts for 4,000. Economists have urged Congress to overcome a month long stalemate and pass another round of emergency relief for workers and businesses reeling from the pandemic and have warned that without additional stimulus, the recovery could stall out. The Labor Department report comes on the heels of new government data released last week that showed the economy added 1.4 million jobs in August. Now see, there, there's not enough jobs to go around to everybody. And that is gonna be a continuous problem even all through next year. Okay, so 1.4 million jobs in August, sending the unemployment rate tumbling 8.4% and 
while it marked the fourth month of job growth in the millions. Still, there's 11.5 million more out of work compared to February before the pandemic struck. America got a long road ahead, for real. They got a long road ahead. And like I told y'all before, they're saying that these layoffs are going to be going strong all the way through 2021. We shall see what happens. You know, I was reading some of the posts with, you know, these articles that I pull up and One person was like, I can't wait for 2020 to be over. I hate this year. I said, well, you're going to hate 2021 because chances are it's going to be far worse than what we're dealing with now. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.